Hello, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night, Episode 9, Will I Find My Home? Let's meet our vampires. Hi, I'm Erica, and I'm playing Annabelle the Bruja. And I'm Xander, and I'm playing X the Malkavian. Special guest Marisha Ray will join us a little later at a dramatically appropriate moment. And now, let's tell a vampire story. Santa Monica, the west side of Los Angeles, an iconic neighborhood nestled next to the ocean. Some residents consider it a refuge from the frantic, hectic pace of the rest of LA. Whether it is a refuge for vampires, we shall find out. Where in Santa Monica are you? Uh, X is currently um, on the beach. I assume it's night. And uh, it would have to be just checking. <laughs> Otherwise, this goes very differently. Uh, and uh, the the bright lights of the Santa Monica Pier are kind of illuminating everything. And there are some people that kind of go out to the beach at night, but for the most part, it's pretty chill. On a weeknight, it's a little less festive yeah. and kaleidoscopic than it can get on the weekends. But there are many, many dozens of people around enjoying the evening mm -hmm. out on the pier with the iconic neon, brightly lit Ferris wheel in the background. It's fun. It reminds you of um, happier times. Mm -hmm. And I'll just take some time to enjoy my home. <laughs> Annabelle X isn't hard to find. He's right where he said he would be. Hey, stranger. Belle. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Wait, are you real? Yeah, Belle. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm real. I'm oh, real. It's so good to see you. It's really good to see you. Oh my gosh, you. we have so much that we have to do. You're here. You actually. Are you joining the drum circle? I, I'm coming to visit the drum circle. And you. I really <gasps> wanted to see. I never make it out here. It's. Uh, I have to take like a lot of freeways to get here. Yeah. But you're worth it. You are so worth it, X. No one's ever said that before. Really? Thank you. Well, not that I was worth a highway, or several highways. How much is a highway? Like, fiscally. Uh, about Can 45 you... minutes, you know, and on, on give or take on a day. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I, can I show you around? I have so much to show you. There's a ton of stuff to do here at night. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's go. Wait. First, take off your jacket. Take off, take off everything. Okay. It's fine. Come sure. On, okay. Uh, let's let's. Oh, that's right. I don't. Yeah. You know, actually, I'm not sure. It's not like I get cold or anything. I don't know why I wear this anymore. That's true, but it does look good. Thanks. And then I just walk into the ocean. And head into the ocean. So you are going to wade into the Pacific. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the reflected light off the Ferris wheel is shining brightly on the surface of the water. You splash your way in against the surf. 
The dark waves crashing against the sand of the beach feels good on your skin. It's, um, it's almost refreshing, the sting of the salt. And uh, the great part is, you know, you can't drown. So I'll keep, <laughs> come on. Okay. I'm not there yet. And I'll All just right. keep walking gonna keep straight walking in. straight out? Yeah. Uh, Eventually so. you get in up to your waist, up to your chest. And you're going to have to start swimming any moment now because it's going to be over your head shortly. And I just bloop, dip underneath and keep walking on the bottom. It's difficult. I try to take a deep breath to go <laughs> under. Uh, but then I... Okay. It's difficult. It feels at first unnatural. It's very dark underwater, hard to see. And of course, walking against the current of the ocean, not easy. Right. Your progress is slow and you stir up a lot of silt, sand. I'll but reach, you uh, do make slow progress. Uh, my hand out to try to grab yours. Mm -hmm. We'll take it together. And then. I'll squeeze, and I'll point up. The surface of the water, of course, is in motion constantly. The sea is restless and never resting. But you do see the lights from down here, the Ferris wheel against the surface seen from under the water, a reverse image of the reflection on top with the motion of the waves and the beautiful light sloshing forward and back. It's quite lovely, remarkably so. And you realize you can't talk underwater, but when you open your mouth, water rushes in and for a moment there's an instinctual panic, but you're fine. The water fills your lungs with <laughs> cold, cold liquid, but you're okay. And then I'll slowly start bringing you back. Going with the current, <laughs> easier than going against it, of course. And as you emerge from the water, dripping wet, <sighs> shaking off a little bit of kelp. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> See, it's not all bad. Oh my God. That's amazing. <sighs> Beautiful. All of this oh, could be yours. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, if I want to have to, like, take 45 minutes every day to get to the mm. college. Well, I could just live here. I don't know. I... It is a great view, I suppose. I'm going to throw my stuff back on. Yeah. Your clothes are where you <laughs> left them. People on the pier, of course, <laughs> don't notice you. They go about their night enjoying, having fun. Maybe they're on dates or they're taking their children out for an evening before it gets too late. You can smell the carnival type foods, hot dogs and popcorn, and cotton candy, and none of it smells appealing at all. So um, let's, let's take a walk. I've got so many other things to show you, but it's gonna take a bit to get there. So okay. I'll just walk along the beach. Okay, yeah. Yeah? So we'll go in a direction that's away from like the crowds. Moving south then, along the beach with the Ferris wheel and the pier behind you, more towards Venice mm -hmm. and Ocean Park. It's fun to walk on the beach at night. The, uh, if you stay in the surf line, the sand is just firm enough where you can feel it against your feet and it feels crisp and cold. There are people out here on the beach, even though it is night. Many of them clearly have no other home. Some of them are out walking like you are. There's a young couple, hands clasped. They look happy. I had like my second date with Mark out here. No way. Yeah, it was really great. Was it? Was it a good date? Yeah, it was a great date. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because we'd only ever really gotten to talk within the context of school or, or the protest group and but it, there was just something about him. We always had really good chemistry and then it just kind of I don't know if you've ever been like that with just like close with somebody and then and then it happens. Is it happening now? Are you telling me something? Oh. Are we? What are we? I didn't think so oh. but. I don't know. 
Okay. Do you have someone or? No. Did you? I want to. I. You know, I want to talk about something else. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Hey. Your choice. Oh, you want me to ask you yeah. about something? Okay. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, I've been building my list, as you know. Turns out garlic is okay, as, yeah. as you said. Great. I mean, it depends on your taste, like if you like sure. it. Sure, or... but for vampires, it's not inherently lethal, apparently. What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was worried and stuff because I really like garlic. Um, steaks, like the, like the wooden ones. Uh-huh. Bad. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, Jasper said he'd kill Kate Beckinsale in Underworld and marry Gary, or do Gary Oldman in Dracula. Well, but he's very wrong. That's, ah, that's, I mean, like, it's not like you can have a bad answer to any of these, but like. You can, mm, and he did. But that's just Jasper, though. Yeah. <laughs> How? What's a ghoul? What? Victor was talking about ghouls. Yeah. Are, are, are they like okay. banshees or, or or mythological creatures or? Well, in the way that the mythological creatures might be based on truth, then yes, or no. Oh. A ghoul is an interesting little fun thing that we can do if we're ready for it, where there will be a kind person who uh, we want them to, I don't know, do our grocery shopping, which is for people, just to clarify. What do you buy at the grocery? Okay, go ahead. For people. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know, run errands and things like that. And I guess it's feed off of them, sometimes. They also get powers. So to have sort of a servant type? Yeah, deal? or like a really good friend that is emotionally bound to you by mystical means. That sounds awful. Yeah, but for some people have it's- Have you done that? I haven't done- Do people want that? What? Like, there are too I'm many sorry, questions too many at questions. once. too many questions, okay. Okay. Well, ask me one then. Okay. Do you want to do that? No, that sounds awful. Now that I know what it is, no. I'm sorry. Are you convincing me? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's icky. That sounds icky. It sounds sorry. icky, but it can be useful if there is somebody that you want in your life or unlife that maybe turning them all the way isn't the best option. I guess. And they can always return back to being mortal, really? unlike us. Oh yeah, it's a process, but it can happen. What if you want to turn somebody all the way? How did you, how did that happen? You're talking happen? about the embrace? Yeah. I didn't know you were a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we hug all the time. Yeah. I'm a very good hugger and now I'm even stronger for hugging. Yeah, it hurts sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, what, what do you want to know about the embrace? How do you- And why are you asking me? You have so many reliable sources. I can't be. Am I the only reliable source? You know what? In a weird way, the things that you say make the most sense. Is ketchup a smoothie? Oh my God. Um, it is. Usually smoothies have some sort of uh, fruit, but a fruit, but then like a ice base. So is it a jelly or a slurry? I'd call it a non-Newtonian jam. It's not non-Newtonian. If you hit it, it's gonna splat. Don't be an idiot, Annabelle. Oh man, I gotta rethink everything that I learned as a Re-examine non-Newtonian fluids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, you. You know, sometimes you get things a little mixed up, but you say a lot of things that do make more sense than some of the others. You asked if there was somebody that I had cared about, and when I first became like this, there was the impulse to create friends. 
because you can get lonely. And to know that our clans, our blood, will produce someone similar. I, you just want, you just want someone to know what you're going through. But it's not great. And sometimes you make a decision, and it happens, and you panic. And um, well you stake them and you put them into torpor and then you tie a rock to their foot and then you sink them to the bottom of the ocean for later. I can always, I can always take them out. Is there, is there someone that is currently out, out there? Probably, like a boat. But I mean like, did you, do that? Is this just a hypothetical situation, or is this yeah. something that happened? Oh, totally hypothetical. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Maybe. Maybe don't embrace anybody yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Or at cool. least weigh cool. the options, because you have the ability to make a small army. That's an army. Yeah, man. You strong. I am. And guess what's going to happen to anyone you embrace? Oh. What's going to happen? I, I assume that they're going to also be strong. Is that what you meant? Is that what oh, you yeah, for? yeah, yeah. They'll be Bruja. Probably. Do you just, do you just bite them? Well, you kind of have to, and then you know, drink your... you know, like a water cooler. Yeah. At the end of a water cooler's life, it is set through so many chats. People finding out what they were watching on Netflix, what's going on with the hot office gossip. Mm -hmm. But at the end, you see the level right at the bottom. That's where you need to get them. Not taken out and replaced with a new jug. Oh. And you just killed someone. But then you take that almost empty water bottle and put your blood in it and probably don't tell the coworkers. And then you make uh, photocopies of your butt. <laughs> I, love, I love how your metaphors get extended. <laughs> it's Ex how it works. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's great. It's not great though. It's not fun and it's not, hey. No, I mean. You know, how you feel about the person that made you that way? That kind of happens a lot. I don't, I don't think I would ever deem somebody to this life that we have. But, counter argument, your life is more important than a mortal's life. Is it? Yeah, man. Is it really? Okay, let's say this mortal who cares so much about you lives on and they're what 30 years 80 years whatever done you you're gonna be miserable for a uh, hundred <laughs> years 200 years <laughs> might as well take care of the problem now so that you're happy and you don't have to worry about it put a pin in it or a steak oh hey x how's it going hey, hey. Oh, it's, I'm so glad hey. you guys are here. You gonna you gonna join the drum circle? You yeah. have uh, you have approached about um, uh, about a dozen men and women who are um, sitting in a circle on the beach, each with a very large drum in front of them, and uh, they have all uh, all stripped down to uh, swimwear or the equivalent, and they are tapping out like rhythms. You were so engrossed in your conversation that you didn't even notice that you were approaching. Uh, and one of them has stood up and uh, greeted X. Hey, hey, you gonna sit in? What's going on? Yeah, Who's your this friend? is my friend Bell. Hey, hey Bell, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yo, just gonna jam. No yeah. jelly though, not tonight. No, no jam. No okay. No non-Newtonian fluids. No, no. Okay, I'm not having another one of those conversations. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna do the thing or, or no? Yeah. I'm, I'm Len, by the way. Nice yeah. to meet you, Len. Hey, he uh, very quickly introduces you to all the men and women in the in the drum circle. It's a lot to remember all at once. 
uh, and they begin to tap out a new rhythm, yeah, something, um, something gentle for a night on the beach. When you surround yourself with something as eternal as music, it almost makes eternity feel fun. Music is the language of my heart, so. I mean, it would be if it's still a... It's okay. okay. You don't have to go to great lengths. I get it. <laughs> All of those Sorry. venture or whatever. Oh, you mean on life? <laughs> oh, you mean at night, not They're day? They're very, very particular about the nomenclature Ugh, of this barf. whole business. <laughs> oh, X. <laughs> hey, uh... You get those visions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, sometimes. I gotta kinda know what's what's next for me. Oh, oh, you want me to? I, I mean, oh. I'm just if you can. I'm sorry, it's not yeah. like I don't want you to oh, like perform or anything. No, it's cool. It's it's cool. I'm a performer. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. Oh, right. But then this. Okay. Um. Uh, I gotta get away from this for right now, so let's uh Oh Thanks Len. Okay. We're gonna Hey We're gonna do sex stuff and then I'll be right back probably. Have yeah. a good time. Real weird. Yep. Hey, knock yourselves out. B bye. Tell us all about it later. Uh, okay. <laughs> Read it on cool. the dog. Tempo gets a little faster and a little sexier. So I wanna a lot, go of, a lot of hip sway in this new <laughs> room. Uh I wanna find uh, one of the like the light not lighthouses, the lifeguard uh Sure, a uh, lifeguard's um, chair, oh, one of the tall chairs with a little cabana on the bottom yeah, yeah. attached with it's got a little seclusion. Yeah, let's sure, go. Sure, you don't have to go too far. You find one a uh, few hundred yards down the beach. You're quite a ways away now from the, uh, the Ferris wheel and the pier, and you can see it small and bright in the distance behind you. You can't hear the people anymore, though, or see them. And the farther south you've come on the beach, the fewer and fewer people there are out here where it's really dark not so popular with the breathing folks. But the lifeguard chair rises up out of the sand. It's a good 12 feet high if you were to sit at the very top, but at the bottom, there is of course an enclosed space where lifeguards can store their gear. And uh, sometimes they'll be up on like stilts type of thing. Very, very often. Is I that wanna... one the one you're gonna find? Yep, I wanna climb uh, under there. You wanna get underneath as it were, inside the lattice work of supports right. so that you're somewhat sheltered from the wind and the noise of the surf and the world around you. And I'll assume like a cross-legged position and motion for you to do the same. Okay. Okay, so you just wanna, it's just about you or, actually, you know what? Can I see this real quick? The marker? Yeah. If you want something specific, it's best if I have some sort of totem or item or something, and, and this looks like it's been close to you. Do you mind? I'll give it to me. Elle. The girlfriend? Yeah. And I wanna activate premonition. Let's make a rouse check that you are doing this deliberately. Yeah. It's a blank. A failure. <laughs> it's a failure. So, so, I agree. <clears throat> so that means that your hunger, which you had taken great care to sate earlier, yep. now increases. And you have two hunger dice instead of one for your later rolls. The beast is pleased because it thinks maybe it will get fed later. Practically hear it licking its fangs later. in your ear. Later. Now. Later. Now, they're, they're, they're close. Okay. Come on, now. And I'm gonna focus on the locket and trigger a premonition. Yes. Normally when you do this, once you have either quelled or tempted your beast, it's pretty easy to slide into wherever it is that you go. But this time, it's more difficult. There is, a, you could only say it is resistance. It's 
a beard. But pushing forward, focusing your mind on the locket. The world fades. The sea, the beach, Annabelle. All fade. You are in a warm place. There is the distant sound of rain. It's pleasant. There's music in the air, although you don't know the tune. And in front of your eyes, as if floating in the air before you, a shining, beautiful, golden heart a valentine heart made of pure gold and the heart is wreathed around the edges with fire it is warm and beautiful and then a flash of pain, a sharp sensation, like the sting of the doctor's needle in the arm. It's brief, but distinct. The heart begins to rotate, to spin, slowly at first, and then more rapidly, around and around and around. And the fire wreathing the edges of the golden heart begins to flicker. Flicker and die as though being put out by the rapid motion of the spinning. Just before it is extinguished completely, it springs again to life. The fire increases in strength, but it is no longer red and orange and yellow, all the familiar colors of flame. Now it's strange, dark, almost midnight blue, shot through with the deepest crimson, almost as if the fire has veins, and it flickers brightly, and the heart stops spinning and begins to move towards you drifting closer to your face, closer and closer, so you're afraid. You pull back, (gasps) pull away, (gasps) and the world is here again. Oh, wow. What did you see? You smell the sea, you hear the waves, Annabelle is here. Oh, Belle, wolf. There's, that was different. There's something going on, is there? Is there anything about this? Like, different, man. Oh, I saw, okay, sorry, sorry, I just needed to, I saw, I heard music in the air, I, I heard rain, I um. I saw a golden heart. Like the locket? Like the it locket. Like the locket? Is L, L, your girlfriend, is she allergic to bees? Do you know? No. It, could she be? I, I I guess she could be. I don't I don't know. Listen, I lot. felt the sting, like... and then the, the flames the went out around the heart. And there were flames around the heart. There was there was fire. There was, there was bright red fire around the heart. And I think, uh, do you have an epipen or are you prepared for anaphylactic shock? I I'll pick one up. I guess if that's something that you saw. I think so. There was, it started spinning. I think she's gonna get dizzy. Um, I don't know. I think something bad might happen. But I don't know the timing of this. I mean, who knows if she's gonna be out somewhere where there's bees or wasps. Can you be allergic to wasps? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thanks, X. Yeah, I I hope it helps. (laughs) I don't, I don't know what it means, but all the things that you saw sort of came to pass in a matter of speaking. I saw the place where Jasper was. I saw 
a wolf. I I saw a wolf. Yeah. Do you remember? I think it was the same one. Oh, you saw the wolf? I guess Does it have a crown in its mouth? Oh, it had some of Victor. Good for the wolf. I guess I'll figure out what the heart means when it's time. But thank you, and... I have one more thing I want to show you. Yeah. Okay. Are you hungry? <laughs> I, I can eat, yeah. Yeah. I want to show you. I want to show you. Okay. And I'm gonna leave underneath the. Uh, you crawl out from underneath the lifeguard's chair, back I'm, out onto the beach. Are you? Are yeah. you oh, you're going to. Um, I'm gonna hit up one of my favorite spots on the beach yeah. that I know that there is like an encampment. Yeah, there is an encampment, and it's not far from here either. It's a quick walk. Come on. You can lead Annabelle there easily. Now, this part you're gonna have to be very quiet. Okay, can you do that? Uh, I'm not fast, my child. You approach a group of men and women who are asleep on the beach, and they've huddled together for warmth, limbs intertwined. Some of them have sleeping bags, others are just covered with sweats or hoodies or just threadbare blankets. They have no fire, of course, because that would attract unwanted attention, law enforcement, but they look peaceful clearly have no other place to sleep than they have chosen here. And I'll go ahead and feed on one. Gonna help yourself? Yeah. You kneel down on the sand beside the person and very carefully, oh so gently. I'm gonna grab uh, an arm. Mm -hmm. yeah. He stirs in his sleep and mm, but he doesn't wake. And I go you help yourself. The instant your fangs pierce the flesh, he sighs happily. I will Body open. relaxes. His breathing slows. And he drifts and drifts. And you drift with him. Mm -hmm. You can taste the ocean. You can taste calm, peace. All the strange voices draw away from you, and you know solace. I'm gonna stop, I need to stop. Mm -hmm. Only for one. Just a taste, just a taste. Mm -hmm. Only one, so take away a hunger die, and you are at one again. I, uh, I'm a drawn from my pockets, and I just, I have a couple of bucks, I have like a five or something, and I just tuck it under him. And then I'll motion to her that we're going to move on, because I get it. One of the, uh, one of the sleeping people, one of the women, <clears throat> blinks awake. Uh, hey, oh, hey, hey, X, how, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, uh, X's this, friend. This is Belle. Hey, Hi. Belle. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Jenny. Nice to meet uh, you, Jenny. How are you? You all right? Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you heard this, but um, somebody saw the cougar down the beach here uh, earlier tonight so be careful wait um, you mean like the re a real like a yeah it's a wild animal it's 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 a big cat you got to be careful because they're they're dangerous okay. do you it, need any help getting back to sleep no i'll be fine okay. i'll be fine just watch yourself yeah, watch yeah. yourself it's good to see you thank you yeah it's nice to meet you nice to meet you uh ex's friend she uh makes herself comfortable back in the in the group of people and closes her eyes so as soon as we're out of, like, earshot of them, I'll start up a conversation with her again. Uh, so this is the other side. I am able to give them a gift. These people, these, these transient people that live in this city, shat on by everyone. And I can give them just the smallest bit of happiness while they sleep. What do you got them? What is that? What was that? He looked... I feed on them. You must see it. When you feed on somebody, it's pleasurable for them. He did look happier. And these people, their day-to-day -day life is hell. And I can offer them peace, even if just for a short moment. And they offer it to me in return. 
the taste of a sleeping kind. It's not like anything else. I, I don't really know much about the rules, but if you're making them happy, I guess that's okay. I prefer to, you know, talk with the person about it, but I guess you have to do what you have to do. But I... exit seems like this is great. As you said, the other side, like the, the view and the drum circle and- Helping the community, fighting against the man or the woman or the NB. <laughs> yeah. Take that. You but, keep walking along the beach? Yeah. Continuing on? But how can you do this and live like all of this and pretend that nothing is wrong? I don't know if you heard, but at Victoria Ash's party, Baron Teresa was there, and the people from your coterie were there. Yeah, it's weird Do that you my know invitation what got think? lost in the mail, even though well, I, I guess have a it's, new jacket. It's just as well that it did. Because you didn't okay? see what happened. No, no, I'm not okay. I will Shh, there are cougars. never be okay again. X. Eliminated a hundred, hundred fifty, I don't know how many humans, like they were nothing. How can you live like that? How can you let that happen? You know what's wrong. You're a good kindred. You're good. You. I see it. I see how much you want to help people. Annabelle, I'm a monster. And so are you. And so is anybody else that you decide to put in this world because that'll be your decision. So which is it? Do you want to save somebody? Or do you want to let them be massacred? There's one or the other. It's a dichotomy. We are blessed with this. Normally, the choice is spread out in front of you. There's, there are so many choices, so many paths, so many different ways to go. It's overwhelming. But there is one thing that is cut and dry. You're either us or them. We can help them. We can make their lives easier. But at the end of the day, we're us. We're monsters. And I get by by sugarcoating that fact. So I'm so sorry that I'm not good enough to go out there and risk my life, my unlife for people who don't care about me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Annabelle, but you have to learn. You can do small good. Don't think big picture or you're gonna end up a tomato smoothie. What if I told you that you didn't have to sugarcoat it, that you didn't have to live in the shadows with your tiny acts of kindness? I'd say you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I may be an idiot, but I have convictions, and we may be monsters, but it's how we react to that that really defines who we are. You got any other cool sayings from t-shirts? <laughs> well, maybe we can create that line and sell it, right? Like a clothing line? Like a clothing line. Nellie would hate that. She really would. X. Huh? When I looked around in that club, when I had that moment looking over the smoking remains of Blaine and seeing humans being torn apart in front of me, I promised myself that I would change things. And if my single on life can save the lives of a whole species to make it so that we can be us and not just us versus them. But what are you saving? What, what do you care about? Do you care about the, your relationships? Do you care about their sexy bodies? Do you want them to be youthful and attractive? Because that that we can save. That part, we got it. 
but you know what they lose? That man. So what are you saving? What 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 is there left to save? This sexy form? This this mind of mine? Your home. Everywhere is my home. I live on a beach. And that is when the animal snarl comes out of the darkness. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And we'll find out what happens next at a later time. <laughs> it is several nights later. An uncharacteristic light rain is falling on Los Angeles. Many in the city welcome it a relief from drought and dryness. Others find it inconvenient. It messes with their commute. The scene is home. Annabelle, what is the first song on your playlist tonight? Well, I find my home by, through Juniper Vale and Vian Isaac. I activate the blush of life. Please make a rouse check. One hunger die. Succeed. You feel the beast stir in your chest this time and in your throat. You quickly stamp it down, mastering your hunger. No fangs tonight. Cold. <laughs> it's chilly. I'm nervous. <laughs> Her breath is warm, uncharacteristically so. It's an interesting role reversal. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a thing or two in my three weeks absence. <laughs> it's incredible. Tell me about these past three weeks. I don't even know where to start. Okay, um, so. Uh, I've been getting your messages. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but like, I, there's, uh, I, uh, Coterie and rats and Gary Oldman, but not actually Gary Oldman, it's just a thing what? that came up, and, and, and prophecies and, Underground sewers, and I, I can't say too much. I, I shouldn't say too much. Okay. But, like, there's... There's so much I want to tell you. Are you afraid I'm gonna tell someone else? Are you no. afraid I'm gonna write it down? No. Like, no. Or is uh, it just... You can come up with stuff that's way, way less hacky than all of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. But no, it's... I, I'm worried about... I know. What would happen if they knew? I guess it's just, I want to feel close to you in whatever way I can. I want, I want you to be close to me. I do, but I don't know if someone else is gonna try to hurt you I don't know if I'm gonna try to hurt you. I don't think you're gonna ever hurt me. <sighs> I mean, living Annabelle could do some really shitty things sometimes, but <laughs> like, but undead Annabelle, like, who knows? I don't know. I'm way stronger than I have any right to be, and I am hungry all the time and 
wasn't I something awful happened are you okay no yeah no no I'm okay it's just there was there was a party and there were a lot of humans there and a lot of our kind there and and I feel like I heard about this just not a lot of details yeah it was one of the last songs in the list um Okay. None, none of them made it out alive, and it, it was, it was awful. It was so awful, and I, and I stood there, and, and I thought, what if, what if you were there? What if you were caught there? What if any of them found you? Did you participate in what no, happened? No, no, I, no, no, of course not. And, you know, you're big and strong and can protect me. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't always be there. I want you to still live a normal life. What if you were, though, always there? What if I was always there? What if we could, I don't know, find a way? I'm, I am propelled and I hold on and I live day to day in this city because I can still feel your presence in it. And I, it's weird. It's like, it's like you have a homing beacon that's been lodged in my brain and it's like I can, I know when you're close, and I know when you're farther, and even if you're not in the same room with me or near me, just knowing that you're, I can look out the window and knowing that you're out there somewhere. We're always on the same page, we're always. Yeah, I know. Connected. Thank God for Spotify. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're so smart. Where do you see all this going? <sighs> That's hard because, on one hand, it's not safe. Every single person that I've talked to, everything that I've witnessed these past, these past three weeks, oh, it's, it's, not, it's not safe. They're really powerful, really bad kindred out there. And, and, and I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to do what we used to do, but in this new world. And, and I'm trying to change things, but I can't do that knowing that I have to... I know. Knowing that something could happen to you because of it. I just, I... I... But I, I want to talk about it with you because we've been partners in everything, like in every difficult, stupid conversation that we've ever had in our lives together. Like, we've always been partners in this and you, we, you so uh, I don't understand then why don't you like let me in a little bit more like I can you can tell me things and it doesn't mean that anyone else is going to hear our conversation unless they can because I, I don't know, know. <laughs> I don't it's true I don't know how powerful these people are or if they could have a, a bug on this place or if somebody could be listening but it's more that I, I don't I don't, I don't want to have to worry that every moment that I'm not with you, something bad could be happening. I don't want to have to worry that every moment that I am with you, I'm putting your life in danger. That's not a great way to survive and to exist for either of us, though. You worried about me all the time and me and 
apparently in constant danger, even though I'm, I don't know, I'm still trying to be normal without, I know. I've gone back and forth on this a lot over the past couple of weeks, and sometimes I know that I, I feel like the safest thing for, for you is is for us not to be together. But I feel like it'll kill me. I need you. I'm yours. Forever. And I don't know if, if that's true. We're trying to be normal, but nothing about this is normal. And we're trying to go against what we tell each other that we're each other's forever, so maybe we need to stop, I don't know, trying to go against the grain here and lean into what's crazy and lean into what's not normal and whatever this is. Can't, you can't make me go. You deserve a say. Because we're partners, right? Always. And I don't know how to keep you safe. Well, we could keep working on that together. Annabelle? Your cell phone rings. It didn't turn it off. I'm sorry. It's okay. You recognize Ramona's number. Uh, hang on a second. Maybe this uh, this could be an emergency or something. Okay. Vampire stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, friend? Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, you want to come on out? What's going on? I'm out in the quad. There's a, there's no, there's some kind of weird protest going on. I think maybe uh, maybe it's your people. Uh, you know, what's the little dude's name? A, a protest? You know, one. I don't know. It's like four or five people with picket signs. Is there something to me? They're protesting the cafe. Apparently the protest? apparently the the napkins aren't really recycled paper or something. I'm not what? sure. Yeah, you want to come on out? This is fun. Wait, no, no, no. This is this is not a good time for me right now. Not okay? a good time. Are you are you okay? Do you need me to send the rat pack? No, 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 don't, do not send the rats. The rats are on their way. No, 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 don't send the rats, don't send the rats, don't send the rats, don't send the rats, you're fine, it's fine. You sure? It's fine, everything is, is totally good. You don't sound good. Um, I'm just going through a couple of things, but it's okay, I totally have it under control. It's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no. All right, but you're missing out. Catch up, yeah, it's okay. Um, keep, keep an eye on them for me, please, though. Sure, if you want me to. Do anything stupid. Think Think it's your buddy Juan. All right, all right, just keep an eye on them and I'll talk to you. You got it. Night. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs> um, if you've seen a larger amount of rats or a giant owl or something uh, lately, it's, it's a friend, just it's making sure normal. you're okay. Yeah, again, <sighs> normal stuff. I guess uh, Juan and the guys are... Doing a thing on campus? What that you said a protest? I don't. I I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think there was anything planned. I don't think I could. I like look in my calendar and see if or like a committee board and see if there was anything that I know of that was planned. When you check the calendar, you see um, an addition that wasn't there a couple of hours ago, uh, huh. and a note from Juan, who. Uh, reached out and asked for volunteers to assemble a really quick live protest at Grounds for Coffee, the campus cafe. Apparently there's some environmental code violation and he felt it was really, really important to make the students' voices heard. About six people responded. Oh, weird. I don't know, it's how often you get last minute stuff like that normally. Doesn't sound like a well-planned 
operation. Do I know Juan? Is he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've seen him around. He's not exactly um, in the leadership material category. Gotcha. But what he lacks in good judgment, he makes up for in enthusiasm. He wants to do right. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's a little typical for Juan. He's uh, um, he's got tenacity. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you and Is there... Mark need to kind of. They need you. Oh. The group needs you. What about you? You know, I'm... I'm sorry, Annabelle, but a lot of this conversation has been about you wanting to keep me safe and me knowing that I, I need you around and that I can't be without you, but also... Being near you is a liability, and but I also can't be away from you. And maybe, maybe you don't need me anymore. Now that that is that's of all the things, of all the crazy things, that's. I don't know. What am I? Doing? That's not true. So what are we no, doing? It's not true. I need you. And I'm yours. Forever. Look, look, Elle. I want to be with you forever. And for someone like me, that could literally mean until the end of time. Or it could mean tomorrow. But all I know is that however long I have left on this earth, I want to spend it with you. Well, then why don't we spend it together forever? I can't. No, why I not? know I know what you're thinking. No, 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 I can't. Why not? You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like. I, I could, right? though, and I could know it with you, and we could know it together. And you're miserable now, and I'm miserable now, and we're miserable anyway. We could at least be miserable together. These people do horrible things. You'd be caught up and you think the politics that we are rebelling against now in life are bad in death. These people have no qualms. They enslave each other, they, they murder and torture and they have no regard for life and what it means. I'd walk through the nine hells for you. I'd walk through the nine hells with you. It's hell on earth. It just... You're so warm. For now, but... It takes effort to do this. In... In the day, you're just a lifeless corpse. We're all corpses just walking around. You wouldn't be able to see the sun. You wouldn't be able to see your family school, you're writing. I'm a lifeless corpse without you already. I love you. I need you. The most. Forever. Me too. I can't do this to you. I can't. I can't. An eternity, eternity, no. Nothing. Not this. But this. It's already there.
It's your choice. It's our choice. You know my opinion. You know what I know what I'm afraid of. I know what I have to do. Annabelle, have you decided? The rain begins to fall harder. The sound is comforting, rhythmic on the roof. Like in the old days, when your heart beat and your lungs breathed and your eyes blinked and you were warm and under the sun. Some choices have to be made even when there are no good options. The story that we've just shared with you is over for now, but it will continue in season two. Now, let's check in with the entire coterie. A few nights later, at Griffith College. Not everything that you're about to see will make sense yet, but we'll run this scene at the end of every epilogue so that when you've seen them all, it will. And if you don't like spoilers, maybe skip ahead to the end now. End of the week, huh? <laughs> I, guess, I guess we haven't all gotten back together since the succubus club and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Anybody want to say anything? Mm -hmm. Anyone? No? Well, I talked to Baron Abrams, and it's been covered up. Just some sort of ecstasy issue. Um, but the masquerade is still intact. Typical. Well, I guess while we're talking cleanup, uh, Eve and I took care of the rest of the Blaine gang. Uh, his associates, mortals, his businesses, all of it erased. We have burned out all memory of Blaine from Los Angeles. Typical. Where is Eve? You had a new driver coming in. She's, um, she was uh, called away. A uh, new opportunity. Oh. oh. Darling, did you do something? I mean, did I do something? Like, did I do something to make her leave? No. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> oh, that's real funny, huh? Well, what'd you do this week, Sasper? <laughs> I explored my labyrinth, found a magic mirror, so nothing particularly special. Oh yeah, just mundane stuff. And nothing else. No further questions. Cute. Check in on the, the thing. No comment. Well, I did something. I found the last of the hunters. The Inquisition? How can it be the last of them? Well, uh, less Inquisition, a little more misguided federal agents. See, there were three of them that traveled to Los Angeles and we took care of the two. Um, but I happened to take out the last one. What, Gregory Demetrios, what do you mean you took care of him? Must I be so gauche? I addressed it, removed it, killed it. Typical. You well, know what, just don't even start with me. Well, if that's true, if the Inquisition is off the board, then we're pretty much ready, because I've done some homework, and the Valley is definitely ready for some new vampire blood, and I've put some things in motion to really make sure that we can hold this place, and if what you say is true, and there's no more Inquisition, then we are ready to go. Okay. Um, I took care of Isaiah. He's safe. Uh, I got some people on Mark. He's also good. Did you? She's not going to be a problem. You said that. This before. time is different. I took care of it. She's gone. Well, then we're set. We're all good. All good. Oh, I did something. I released a new fragrance line. Get this. 
It's called arachnophoria. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what? Arachnophoria what? tastes the spider. Where do you, who tells you these things are okay to do? My interns. Wait, no, I've got it. You'll have him climbing up the walls. Oh, God, I'm sorry. That's mean. Come that on. That is uniquely it's... bad. <laughs> just... Not as tacky as your suit. You only get snippy when you know I'm You right. know what? Just now. Oh, which reminds me, I punched a cougar. How old was she? No, not. <laughs> That's the fact. That, it is that kind of week. Mm hmm. Actually, um,. I may have fucked something up. And this is where our story ends for now. Thank you very much for joining us for our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night.